So today we'll be taking a look at DOM manipulation techniques. So in DOM manipulation, the first thing that we'll be taking a look at is getting and setting content. So in jQuery, we have got three methods which if applied to an element will return the content that it's containing. So over here, if you see, we have a div and inside that div we have label and then an input element. So HTML by its name itself it says that it will return the HTML content. So if I have to get the contents of the div which is identified here with the ID content div, I'll write console. Now console is something which will be outputting the results in the debugger, the browser debugger that we are having these days that is Firebug or with Chrome Dev Tools. So there it will output, not on the page. So I say console.log and over here I'll be writing journal and then the ID of it. The ID is content div and then I'll say dot HTML. Now if I run this one, we'll get the HTML content that is the label and this one. So let's see. So here you can see that the div is returning its HTML in form of label and input ID. So when we write HTML, it's basically outputting the whole HTML that the container is containing. Now if I write console.log dollar and then the ID over here dot text. Now the difference will be seen here now. So the first one is returning the HTML and text if you see it's just returning the first name. So it's ignoring all the HTML tags that are there within that container element. So only the text is returned. Now let's see what happens if we use dot val. So I'll simply copy this one, paste it over here and change this value to val. And let's see. You can see that it's returning an empty string. Usually, dot val method is associated with input elements. Anything where you see input tag, like input text box, radio button, check boxes. There you can go with input, even select drop down. There also dot val will work. So here, if I have to check the value, so that dot val will apply to this text box that we are having. So let's go ahead and try to find out the value of the text box. So again, I'm going to copy this line, paste it over here, and just to specify the ID. And now let's see what happens. So you can see that the text now comes up as skillbakery.com. So this is the value that is assigned to the value property of the text box. Now let's try to see the HTML and text attributes on this text box. What happens when I try to find out the HTML or the text value. So I can simply associate things over here just to identify HTML plus and over here I'll write text plus. You can see that nothing is returned from the input box. So for HTML and text, there is no value associated with the input element and that is why they are not returning anything. Now let's go ahead and try to assign something to this. For that, what we'll be doing is very simple. Just use the text itself. So if I have to replace the content of the div itself, over here I can go ahead and write And then I can close the tag. So what this will do is, it will replace the content of this div, content div. So this and this will be removed from the DOM and basically replaced from the DOM and the content will be, it's my world. So let's check this one. So you can see over here, the content is now replaced with the H1 tag that we have kept, it's my world. So with HTML you can specify the HTML tags 
and let's go with the value attribute now so if i try to go with the value attribute of a content since this is not available with the content div obviously we won't be able to set anything using this for a div but still let's try it out and let me comment this one and let's see what happened you can see that the text remains the same it's not changed because val method is not associated with the dev, dev element so now let's check the text one and try to associate HTML tags over here so I'll say h1 and let's close h1 over here let's see what happens when we try to assign this to a div you can see that the HTML tags are not interpreted at all they are simply written as plain text so that is the difference between HTML method and text method over here if I just remove this one so basically it's the text now proper text and uh, then the content will be shown over here it's my wall similarly if I have to assign a value to an input element what I'll be doing is I'll be simply making use of the val method and down below I can simply assign anything to it my favorite skillbakery.com now let's see whether this value gets assigned to this input element or not so in the browser because we are already assigning the div we have to comment this one out and now let's check it so you can see that my favorite skillbakery.com is coming over here so this is how you set and get values from DOM elements. Next we'll be taking a look at how we can access the attributes of a given HTML element. For instance, if we take the anchor tag into consideration over here in our example, you can see that this URL tag with ID choose city is having anchor tags and each anchor tag is having some properties. That is the attribute basically. So let's try and access these and try and change them. So if I have to access the attribute of an anchor tag, I'll simply write the ID over here, that is choose city. So I'll just take it from here and apply it over here, choose city. Then I'll say, since choose city and next to it li, and next to it is the anchor tag. So I'm accessing the first anchor tag over here and then I'm using the attribute property. Inside the attribute, I'll say href. So I'm trying to access the value that href is containing. Now to see what value it is having, I'll simply say console.log and inside this, I'll pass this whole thing. And uh, let's check this one in browser now. So over here you can see that it's saying JavaScript colon white. So that is the value that we have associated with the attribute href. Now if I have to change the value of it, what I'll do is, it's pretty simple. The same way we have been assigning content to the elements. So what I'll be doing over here is, I'll simply copy this line. And then from here I can say comma and whatever value you want to assign to it. Now I'll say HTTP skillbakery.com and over here, put it, end it with a semicolon. And now if I again try and access the same, it will return me this value. So check this one now. So earlier it was JavaScript colon void and now it is skillbakery.com. You can see it in the DOM Explorer over here. So the first one is being accessed and I'll simply go there and check one. So here you can see HTTP skillbakery.com is coming. 
Now, what if, if I have to update multiple attributes and uh, doing one by one will consume a lot of time. So what we need to do is just a little trick over here. Take the element, put it like this and then say attribute ATTR and after that all you need to do is inside curly braces you can just specify href and then the colon symbol and the value so value is should basically bakery.com then you can go ahead with the next element in line next attribute rather so just align it over here and let's say title is one of the common attributes so I'll say title and then skill bakery.com and terminate it with semicolon so this way you can see that we are able to assign multiple attributes with single attribute method now check this one so you can see that the href tag is also assigned and the title is also so if i mouse over this one you will see skillbakery.com so that's how you assign attributes to a given HTML element.